morning everyone and welcome back to Craft Eccentricity and I am up today with Panalisa. Yes I am, I'm just going to get stuck straight in and do a few measurements and I've got one of the biggest in my hand. I'm trying to go in uh, size descending. So here is the first set. I'm just going to slide it gently up the desk there so that you can see. Now, I believe this can be used on its own or you can layer it up with all the different flowers that come with it because I can see all of the shapes here. But isn't that great? I mean, that is absolutely massive. So the base layer for this, if I go to its longest point, which I believe is here, and I'm doing the cut lines, I'm going to say it's a fraction over five and a quarter inches and then if i do the width of it we are at i'm gonna say that bit is longer than that bit i'm gonna say it's four and a quarter inches again but isn't that great i do apologize for any glare on my camera but you've got to see those details they are just absolutely fabulous look at that you've even got berries really pretty so that is the first one and then next up i'm going to move that one out of the way so that it doesn't interfere with the image of the next and that is this gorgeous little frame i think those peonies or poppies one or the other but you've got an outer frame i'll hold it that way around and then you've got this bit that cuts a detail into this bit isn't that great so you kind of get three frames yeah that's right three frames and then flowers that you can lay out on top so we're going to be very floral for the uh for this foreseeable future <laughs> yes five and five eighths great size and then the width on that is a fraction under four inches isn't that pretty really love that and then next up we've got another frame this time it's one that you can i'm trying to look at this yeah it fits around the oval so use the whole thing and cut an oval out and then you've got a layering oval as well and then you've also got the card frame on which the whole thing will sit and turn it around that way you can see it looks like daisies isn't that pretty oh yes i like that so we are at just a fraction under four inches and then we are at five and five eighths isn't that pretty oh there goes Bo bless him might be the male person going down and then i was sent this rosette with a folding heart a folding star and then the centers for the rosette so to know how big that rosette is once it's uh, made i've actually got to make it but i can tell you that usually with a rosette you can use anything between two to five if you know what i mean but that one is four and a quarter inches long and then if you look at the size of the pleat it's a quarter inch so i'll let you do the mathematics and figure that one out but i would have to make it to see but once again another lovely one next up another frame set this time with a little lacy cut out of like a leaf and then there's a label and then there is another frame that cuts out a hollow so this one cuts out a whole one this one cuts out a lacy bit where you'll be left with an aperture that's a nice one for doing a shaker and also a label onto which you can stamp and of course this can also be placed onto um, a rectangle that you cut out so that is five inches and then the width of that is just a fraction under three and three quarters so that's a lovely layering piece 
right next up now as i said the shipping got delayed i don't know why so there is quite a few easter um items in here and i'm going to go through them so that you can see them anyway so we've got this lovely rabbit and it is a large bunny so i'm going to try looking at it and guesstimate how big this rabbit would be once made up Right, I'm going to say this rabbit would be four and a quarter inches high when made. It's really sweet. Right, next up, and I've got a cutting plate, which is a carrot. Carrots in all different shapes. And I think they cut out. I'm feeling it with my finger. Yeah, they do. They cut out and then pop back into a stitched aperture. These are really cute. And that is five inches and the width of that is four inches so that's five by four or when you get a little pair of glasses and a little bow so you can dress your carrot up if you want to so that's that one and then next up more Easter and we've got a carrot that can be a shaker and that's a great size so let's measure that the actual carrot would be two and three quarters and then of course you're going to be adding a leaf which is one and three eighths so that's a lovely size and then next up I have more carrots and this is a tiny little carrot plate with a, a scallop edge there let's have a look we four and seven eighths and then four inches so can you see that it's got all all little carrots so you could absolutely layer that up if you wanted to well cut two you know stencil through one and uh, then just use that as your your base layering piece to save time a beautiful sized flower set I guess that can be any kind of flower that you want it to be but isn't that lovely five petals when you've got five petals you can always make a rose as well you just keep cropping them out until you come back to five and and you can have a rose now i don't know what kind of flower that is but it's very pretty and the largest head on the flower is let's have a look at that it's just under two inches and then the length of the stem is four and a quarter not that great i like that oh we are at easter once again and this time i showed i just showed um a shaker carrot this is a shaker egg so all stitching on that and that actually looks like holly berries to me probably isn't but we've got um dandelion -y, daisy little daisy bit there and flowers so the size of that egg, if made, would be, let's get that straight, just over two and a quarter, and then the height of it, two and five, one and five eighths, sorry. And then more Easter, and we have what looks like a little chicken, um, a little bunny and a carrot that turn into balloons so I think the little chick face goes on to there and then I think you put the rabbit ears on the carrot yeah and then you can just make a whole carrot shape and put whatever onto there so I think it's kind of like mixy matchy whatever it is that you want to do but that makes little Easter balloons and you've got the ties there so each of these little critters when made if I'm doing this correctly, it would be one and a quarter inches. So really cute again. And staying in the animal realm, we have a really sweet owl. So I'm going to be making this one, but it's a, a really simple shaker because you've got a really thick outline there. And I'm going to say that's two and a quarter inches. And then at the width of it, I'm going to say going right up to its ears and feeling just over two and a quarter inches but he's got his little beak and everything there 
and you've got the word owlsome. I can read that. Isn't that weird? There's loads of words that I can't read, but I could read that one. And then, <laughs> yes, tags. Tags are great, aren't they? Tags and tag ties, lovely. That's a scallop one and a plain one. And that is three and seven eighths of an inch. And the width on that one is two and a half. The width on this one is two and three sixteenths. And on this one, three and a half. So they're a great size. Really pretty. I like the edge on that one. Look at that. Oh, let's get my camera right. It's all pinked and pretty. Pinking edge. I think that's what you call it. And then next up, I've got a little pillow box, which comes with labels. And I'm not sure, but I think that's a little bag. I think that one there is a little bag with a fold over top. I might be wrong. Yeah, and you get a layering piece and those labels. But the pillow box, uh, you would cut two to make this. That's four and five eighths. And then the width of that is three and an eighth but made up make sure i'm on the cut line it would be two just under two and three quarters wide and then we have uh elephants and i've got them in a bag and they're covered up so i'm going to get this out these look really cute oh yes We've got elephant's bums, so that can be the bum or the front. I think that's, yeah, I think that's the front. So you can do these 3D and pop them up. So I'll have to make those. And it comes with um, a few flowers. So it could be that this little elephant gets covered in a few flowers. He's got a small trunk. He's got a big trunk. So I think that's a small and a large elephant. Yeah, because I can see the ears on this one and the ears on this one. Small trunk, large trunk, big legs, small legs. Yeah, because there's the tail. So I'm going to have to make that one. That's really cute. And then we have postal sets. Yes, stamps. If you remember those uh, stamps that are hauls in my personal haul, they, these are the kinds of things, the strips and the circles and everything for making stamps. That's what those kind of stamps are great for. This is rather large, I will say. So you could punch holes in this and turn it into a planner page. That is seven inches by three and seven eighths. But then you've got all of these bits that will pop out. Yeah, I really like that. Make sure I'm holding it on the camera. <laughs> I'm so busy looking at it myself. Next up, we've got another similar one. But this one is a slimline. So we've got a larger oval here. Isn't that great? And don't forget, you don't just have to, you know, do and use the whole thing. You can actually cut these and pull them apart and actually have stamps. So that is eight. Yeah, it's just over eight inches, eight and one eighth. And then the width of that is three and an eighth. So it's perfect slimline size. Really like that. And then we have a little wagon, which is awesome. And you've got the word thankful. You've got little wooden planks to decorate this area. You've got the wheels, you've got the pool bit, and you've got the grass or the straw or the hay. And uh, that's the kind of thing I was saying, you know, I can use my, um, my moon that I hauled in the background. That's really cute. Like that. So I'm going to be making that one. Oh, and more Easter. This time we have a shaky bunny. Now, that says love and that says bunny. So bunny love or love bunny. So that's a really sweet little shaker. And of course rabbits can be used at Christmas. 
so not just Easter three inches but you've got a nice broad border I'll put my finger there I know I've had my hands in the soil this morning I know that I shouldn't <laughs> I was fertilizing my passion fruit so you have to forgive me so you've got that lovely thick border that's really cute I like that I like the bow as well and then last but not least we have a set which is I'm going to hold it like that we've got a little in fact I'm going to take it out let me find the opening I do like lacy dies like this Ooh, this is well glued together and a very large boot so the first bit that I've got in that set is a boot so we've got a little garden welly that is filled with flowers I'll pop that there and then we've got this set which looks like a cup with a rose in it and then we've got a watering can that's all floral you can piece back into those and then we've got our uh, garden trowel and fork and I'm trying to work out what that says that says roses so that looks like a little stand with roses kind of potting bench isn't it that's really cute so if I measure the biggest bit which uh, I believe to be the boot I'm going to do that one because it looks quite long that is to the cleat on the bottom four and a quarter inches and then the widest part being the foot part I'm going to say just over one and three quarter inches so that is the little garden set really really sweet right that is what I have for you today and tomorrow I will be up with Panelisa's papers and stickers so I thank you so much for joining me do have an absolutely awesome day and as usual all links below bye <laughs>